Hey, good evening. I have a UBITX version 6. Just ordered it. Thought I'd do an unboxing and set up. So it comes with a quality control sheet where someone's checked off that everything's here and signed it 2420. So roughly a week ago. It just came DHL. It was $209 with the case. So let's pull out the parts. Here's the case. Boards in the case. I have a feeling that's going to be very similar to. I have a feeling this is going to be very similar to the five. Okay, so there's the board. It looks similar, but it's got a pre mounted BNC, pre mounted power. It's got the same isolated heat sinks, and it's got. The 3.5 millimeter, and I'm assuming that this is on off, maybe possibly volume. It's got a little header here. It's got the place to mount the Herdino. It comes with its own microphone. And the, this costs about 50 bucks more than the five, but you get a case, you get a microphone, and you get a parts kit. So that looks like, this looks like a rotary encoder, a bunch of screws, feet, an interface cable that, in, this extends, this extends the USB from the device out, power cord, power cable end, looks like there is some wiring to do. And it comes with a speaker. The 5 did not come with a speaker. Well, it looks like a nice speaker, actually. Got a jumper. And the Redino itself. Now, this is a different Redino than the last one. It's got a touch screen. Pretty neat, and it's pre-assembled. Just plug it into the bottom. Now, this is going to be the header pin. to see where all of these go. 602. Now, I ordered this just about the day it became available. And if 602, they're either making them ahead of time or, or they're selling them pretty quick. Okay, so this uses the Nano. And as you can see, and from my viewpoint, it's put in there upside down. That might not be everyone's viewpoint. And I actually have uh, several nanos that I've already soldered with the headers up. So I actually ordered two so I could make a replica of this. So I could pull this out, put another one in. I always want to preserve the original. I don't want to do anything to it. But I do want to make improvements. Well, I'll say changes, not necessarily improvements. Nice screen. I'll keep that on there until I get it in the case and ready to go. And it gives you a little stylus. Kind of neat. Big VFO knob. That's very nice. And this is going to be the sound on off volume. So where's the rotary? This would be for the rotary encoder. Let's see if that's true. Oops, that, that's what that is. Got to figure out where that goes. I'd say this is the same basic board as the version 5 with the connectors mounted. Still have to do some soldering. I'm not sure what that's for. If this has a header, this has a header. Not a whole lot of connections here. We have one here, one here, one here. One here, so I'm gonna have to get the directions off the website. But pretty impressed. Uh, to be honest with you, I expect it to be impressed because this guy puts out quality stuff. Very abbreviated unboxing and first look because there's not a lot of parts.
So I'll start putting this together and I'll do a couple of videos, keep them short. Very impressed with the quality of these kits. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.